Good morning. Welcome. Um, go, welcome to Vinyasa Flow. You, were you today using playlist 148? Um, we'll start as usual in any comfortable um, position. And so just start to make your way to a shape that requires very little energy. Once you think you've gotten to the right place, go ahead and push play on your playlist. Taking a moment to let the fidgets work themselves out. And then soften your eyes and let the focus just come inside. Notice how the mind will start to wind down. And start to see you can really focus on the breath, just feeling the expansion of the rib cage on the inhales, the softening on the exhales. On your next inhale, take a deep breath in through the nose. It fills the belly, moves that breath up to the ribs, all the way to the top of the chest. Then exhale and push all the air out of your mouth like you're fogging up a mirror. Again, inhale deeply, filling the breath, filling it all the way to the top of the chest and then exhale and push the air up to the belly, squeezing up and in to get all that stale air out at the very bottom. And when you're done, inhale again, fill it all the way up. This time, seal your lips and exhale that same focus back through the, up through the nose. Starting to add a slight constriction to the back of the throat. You might hear that ocean-like sound. And for the next 60 minutes, we try to use this breath, this ujjayi pranayama. Builds heat, builds focus. Good. When your body says you're ready, and not a moment before, Start to shift yourself forward to coming to a tabletop position. Feel the fingers wide, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Straighten the right leg to the back and give yourself a nice little calf stretch for just a moment. Start to lift the right leg up off the mat. Belly nice and strong and engaged. Let the left arm reach forward and expand. And your next exhale, round the spine, bring everything in. Inhale, expand, lengthen everything out. Focus as you gaze forward. Exhale, squeeze, pull everything in. Inhales, open and expand. And if you'd like to add a back bend, go ahead and bend your foot. Left hand reaches back to grab right ankle. Roll your shoulder back, gaze can go up, just adding a gentle back bend. If that's not good for you, don't do it. When you're done, reach yourself back out. Hands come down. And when you're ready, you try it on the left. 
Left leg can lengthen, add that calf stretch if you want this morning. And when you're ready, lift your leg, right arm comes forward as you inhale. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhales, expand. Exhale, squeeze it in. Follow the pace of your breath. If you want that back bend, it's yours to take. When you're done, hand comes back down. Now go ahead and take your movements anywhere else you want them to go. Maybe you want to continue with these tabletop extensions. Maybe it's hip circles or any other movement you'd like. Take three more breaths to move wherever you want to go. And then start to make your way back to that tabletop position. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back and come to your first downward facing dog of the practice. Feel the heels rooting down, fingers nice and wide. Go ahead and walk out your dog a little, just shifting your weight. Rising into your toes, just explore where it is today. Come to stillness. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, really press the heels back, chest is open, armpits towards your thighs. Release the tension in the neck, good. Now start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Coming to a forward fold in the back of the mat. Inhale, back lifts halfway. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, arms come all the way up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hands to heart center or down by your sides. Go ahead, feel the feet grounded for a moment. All 10 toes nice and active. Hips squeezing in towards the midline. Shoulders down and back. On the next inhale, arms come all the way up, gaze goes up. Exhale, forward fold or all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and walk yourself out to a plank. On your next inhale, let your heels fall to the left, right arm is up. Finding a side plank for just a moment. Exhale back to center using that core. Inhale, side plank the other side. Exhale, hand comes down and start to bend your elbows as much or as little as you like. Open your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding three deep breaths. Third exhale, walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Lift halfway. And let's do it again. Inhale, arms come all the way up, gaze up. Maybe you add a slight back bend. And then exhale, dive it low. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold and walk it out to the top of that pike. Inhale, find one side plank. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, other side. Exhale, bottom of that yogi push up your chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Three breaths, walk your hands back towards your feet. Lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Good. So continue moving through your sun salutation A variation this morning. And go ahead and make changes. Listen to what you need. 
There's no wrong way to move as long as you're connecting with that breath. If you want to go ahead and add in some side bends or twists to your prerogative. Okay, give yourself one last time through. And when you're done, we're all going to meet up in that downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Take one big, beautiful breath in your down dog. And as you exhale, bend your knees, knees forward, step, hop, or jump your feet all the way to a forward fold to top the mat. Bring your toes to touch, heels looking slightly apart. And on your next inhale, drop your hips, lift your chest, Ukatasana, chair pose. Good. Feel this pose. Take a couple breaths here, just acknowledge. Notice where the weight is. Feel the heat you've already created in your body. On your next inhale, fill up your whole body with breath. Exhale, right arm swings back into a sat and open. Inhale through center, fill it up. Exhale, left. Inhale through center, fill it all the way up. And as you exhale, forward, fold it down. Inhale, half lift. Bend your knees, plant your hands, legs up back, find that plank. And then go through the same pattern that a vinyasa it takes you back to a downward facing dog. For your down dog on inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring your foot forward, plant between your hands. Drop your back knee down. Optionally, either curl, toes curl, or uncurl in your choice. As you inhale, water, both arms come up, really opening this front hip socket. Good. And as you exhale, start to take a little side bend to the right. The right arm might come down to your thigh or down to the ground. Just opening things up there. Good. Inhale through center, arm comes up, adding a slight back bend here. Exhale, hands come down. Right foot goes back. Apply the vinyasa. Left leg lifts the high on the inhale. Exhale, bring it forward, drop the knee. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, decide that it can be small. Just find a little bit of stretch right there in those hips. Inhale, arm comes up, open your chest. Exhale, hands down. Take your foot back, vinyasa. This time, three breaths from your down dog. Third exhale, bend your knees, knees forward, 
Feet find their own way to the top of the mat. Lift your back halfway. Exhale, fold. Begin again. Inhale, sink your hips low. Arms come up. Exhale, right arm back up and open. Find a swing. Swing of the breath. Pull it down. Find the vinyasa. From down dog, lift the right leg high and an inhale. Drop the knee, press the hips open. Feel the grounding and the pulling up. Exhale, side bend over. Inhale, open the heart even further. Exhale, vinyasa. Left side begins when you're ready. Right, keep moving, keep finding your way. What makes this about you? What postures do you need? What pace do you need? Reminding yourself that yoga is not about performing postures. It's about connecting with that breath. Good. Good, come on, keep that belly engaged. Keep that breath nice and strong. We're building that heat, the breath might start getting a little heavier, that's okay. Good. You guys look great. And next time you find yourself in that downward facing dog, we're all gonna meet up right there. Good. Take your time if you're not quite there. Even yourself out on both sides. <clears throat> and then pause for a moment in your dog. Just close your eyes and really just turn in. And just observe and notice the changes that have already happened in your body. The lengthening, the heat. Hopefully it feels better. All right, on your next inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. As you exhale, right knee comes forward to right elbow, open the thigh up nice and wide. Inhale, lift the leg back up. Exhale, knees come all the way across, opposite elbow. Inhale, leg goes back up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Options to here, or flip yourself all the way over, bring your hips down to the mat. On the next inhale, press your hips down, or feet down, hips up. Open up, find a wild thing back bend. And on your next exhale, flip yourself back to the front. Right foot comes forward. On the inhale, back heel grounds, coming up to a warrior two. We're gonna do all that again on the left. Hands down, connect to your vinyasa. You always have the option to take the vinyasas out if that's what your body needs. Left side, same thing. Inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, lead elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee squeeze it across. Inhale, lift. Bend your knee, open your hip, flip yourself over, coming down to the seat. Inhale, lift your hips, wild thing, back bend. Exhale, foot comes all the way forward, ground the heel down. Inhale, come to that nice, strong warrior two. Hands down, vinyasa.
All right, we're gonna do that all again and add on the second part. So inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to elbow. Lift and fill with breath. Exhale, squeeze across. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open and flip, come down to the seat. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, it comes all the way over. Inhale, warrior two. Good. On your next breath, stand nice and tall. Knee comes high into your chest. Same hand as leg comes to your knee. Option to grab your big toe with the fur. If you have the toe, extend it to the front. On an exhale, you're opening your leg to the side. Inhale, bring back through the center, squeezing it in. Exhale, swing the leg through, hands go down, leg goes high, standing split. Now on an inhale, reach the leg back, open up. Hello, good morning, beautiful stars. Find that star shape. Hands come down towards the back of the mat. Connect your vinyasa. All right, left leg will lead when we face the back. So inhale, lift the left leg. Find those two knees. Option for arm, creating one of those. And always have the option to take them out. Exhale, open your hip, flip yourself over, drop the hips down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, it comes forward. And as you inhale, find that long, strong warrior two. Back knee comes high into chest. And make sure that left hand has somewhere to be, either your hip or maybe you're holding it high over your head. Exhale, the leg forward if you like. When you're ready, take your time, find your balance, feel the shifts. Get back through the center, leg goes high, hands go low, standing split. And as you inhale, reach it back out and open, star shape. All right, come back to the front, find the vinyasa. And when you feel like you're ready, go ahead and big start. We're all gonna meet up in that warrior two. So you find that warrior two, you feel the grounding in both feet. Strength here. Inhale, knee comes high into your chest. Remember, this is about the supporting leg, so it doesn't matter if that lifted leg is straight or bent. You do what's best for your body. And allow yourself to have one fixed gazing point, especially on those balances. Good. Coming back up to the star shape. All right, last little bit I have for you. As you exhale, keep turning towards the back, hands and heart center, prayer twist. Inner thighs engage, belly squeezing, gaze up towards the sky. On the inhale, ba, ba, sorry, left hand reaches forward and down. Back legs in the left, my favorite shape, half moon pose. You exhale, tuck your right knee behind your left ankle, and come all the way down to a seated twist. Just ring everything out. Do inhale, rock back, find one boat. You can do as many of these as you'd like. Find at least one. And then cross your ankles, plant your hands. Legs shoot back. And you find a vinyasa. Or down dog. That's all I have for you today. So you get back to down dog. Take a few breaths if you need it. And then go ahead and begin again. I'll cue that last part for you one more time.
So from your star shape, you feel nice and wide. Breath is big. Exhale, hands to heart center. Prayer twist. Back heel can spin up or stay grounded, your choice. On your next inhale, same arm as leg. Reaches forward and down, open up, unfurl. Expand, do this half moon pose. Exhale, seated twist all the way down. Squeeze it out. Rock back and lift your hips. Find at least one boat. I'm being kind today, it's as a holiday gift. Then cross your ankles, plant your hands. Legs back, vinyasa. Good. All right, so the sequence is yours. Go ahead and play with this. Taking your time to move to the pace you need. Reminding yourself that breathing in and out through the nose is the most important part. We start breathing through your mouth. That is a stress response. That happens, seal your lips, back off, and come back in when you're ready. And don't forget your water breaks. And the whole time you're moving, remember to keep that belly squeezing up towards the midline. Give yourself that gazing point. In yoga, we call it a drishti. Your gaze, your energy locks, your belly pulling up and in yoga, we call them bandhas. And the breath, those three things will give you so much strength. The strength you already have inside you, it's just a matter of channeling it and urging it forward. Beautiful, you guys look great. I love this. God. Always feeling the grounding down and the pulling up, that oppositional pull. Good. All right, I'm gonna hop back in. You guys look amazing. Also remember, if you wanna add in other shapes, any shapes you wanna play with, Now's the time. If you're working on headstand, handstand, arm balances, anything you want, this is the time for you to do that. If your body's telling you you just want to rest, you go to child's pose, you go down dog. That's all options for you. It's not about the person next to you on the screen. It's not about the person on the screen in front of you, the teacher. It's about you. And we have two minutes here. So two minutes, make these two minutes count wherever you want them to be. friends. We got one minute left. So if you want high intense cardio, you're welcome to go to those places by mountain climbers, by bicycles. You want to keep moving through here, do the sequence, go for it. We have one minute left to make it count for whatever it is you need to make today an awesome day. Find the strength in the breath. And then wherever you are, come to stillness. Come to stillness for just a moment. Standed, seated, wherever. Just check in, close your eyes.
Just observe. So notice everything happening around you and in you. One more breath. And grab the water if you need it. Towel if you need it. Let's make a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, foot's going to come forward. Option to ground the heel or leave it lifted. Going to a high crescent lunge or warrior one. Now, if you always use your arms up, you're going to try something different today. Bring your arms forward, cross right elbow over left, bend the hands up, eagle arms. The arms aren't down low, they should be up, up sort of in line with your shoulders, trying to find a nice stretch across the back. And while you're dealing or adjusting to maybe a funny arm shape, can your legs go lower? Knee out front, heel reaching back, inner thighs working overtime, belly engaged, focus straight ahead. Breath strong and present. Finding that inner strength, it's already there. Next inhale, shift your weight into that front leg. Back knee comes high into your chest. Cross your thighs, bend the supporting leg, coming to a full eagle. That left foot, if possible, is wrapped around the calf. If that foot needs to come down to the mat to help you balance the kickstand, that's cool. But feel the inner thigh squeezing, arms are squeezing, belly squeezing, shoulders wide, head pulling up, Energy moving in all these directions, but you're breathing. You're finding the steadiness of the breath. For three, for two, for one, straighten the standing leg, knee pulls high. And as you exhale, leg reaches back, warrior three. Hands are going to interlace behind your back, roll the shoulders back. Just an option for the arms. And feel the head reaching forward, foot reaching back. I know that right glute is on fire. That is okay. Find the wobbles, find the strength. You got this. It's uncomfortable, that's okay. Hands come down, connect the vinyasa. <clears throat> Pause that dog, just feel. If you've lost the breath, reconnect with it. And then you get really excited because we can try it all again. So go ahead and lift that left leg up. Exhale, foot comes forward. High crescent or warrior one legs, your choice. Belly's gonna squeeze, knees forward, heels back. Your choice of arms. Up over the head. If you want to this eagle arm, this time left arm comes across. Bend your arms up. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what choice you make as long as you make the one that's best for you. Find the strike, come on, you got this. You're right there at that edge. Three more breaths right here. Control the inhales, control the exhales. Next inhale, knee comes high into your chest, woo! 
right glute, left glute, whatever glute it is. When you're ready, cross your thighs, bend the supporting leg, foot wraps around your calf if it can. You feel the toes and supporting leg nice and wide, relax them. Bend the supporting knee. Belly's pulling in, soften the shoulders. Strength and change doesn't happen in your comfort zone. So you have to make it uncomfortable. You have to get outside that comfort zone. Straighten the front leg. Find warrior three. Ooh. If you fall over like I just did, go ahead and come back. Those wobbles aren't a sign of weakness. You're just learning, your body is learning. You find the strength to come back when you're ready and try again. Come on, you got this. Reach the head forward, foot back. Quads are engaged, belly strong. Where's that focus? It's anywhere except in front of you. Bring it back. Woo. Three more breaths. Come on, you got this. Three more breaths. Inhales it out through the nose. Yeah, you got it. Awesome. Vinyasa. Hands come down. Connect that vinyasa. But the word vinyasa never sounded so good. <laughs> Beautiful. And from your down dog, go ahead and let your knees drop down to the mat. Head can rest on the mat. Or come up to seated, your choice. We're just going to check in again. When you're ready. Gently open your eyes. Go ahead and shift your weight to one side. Legs come around long to the front. Today we're gonna to go ahead and start with our legs, opening wide apart in a straddle, or whatever wide is for you. Sit up nice and tall. Feel the sit bones grounded. If your feet are flexed right now like mine, go ahead and release them. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, begin to forward fold the flat back as far as you can. And then soften it round. Just release. Just let gravity pull you, support you. There's no muscular engagement needed now. Your muscles have done more than enough. Allow yourself to just stay with the thoughts and the feelings that are popping up.
Take three more breaths where you are. And slowly walk your hands up. Feel the spine nice and long. Gently close your legs. And begin to roll all the way down onto your back. I'm going to offer one back bend this morning. I'm going to cue you through wheel. So if you prefer bridge or any other back bend, you're welcome to go there. My friends going to wheel or bridge for that matter, feet on the mat, knees pointing out to the sky, feet only about hip width apart. For friends in wheel, hands come over the head. Up near your shoulders, fingertips point down to your feet. And on your next inhale, no matter which back way you're going for, press down into the earth, lift your hips, open your heart, and find at least three breaths, whatever back bend is best for you this morning. And when you're ready, you gently start to come all the way back down, taking care to notice and feel. <clears throat> Go ahead and bring both legs to point up towards the sky, coming into legs up, moving to an inversion. You're welcome to stay here in this place. Or if you want something a little bit more intense, begin to rock your hips up over your shoulders, supporting your low back, coming to a shoulder stand. If you have headstand and you practice or handstand, welcome to go there as well. But pick your inversion. And just take a few breaths to feel it. If you're in shoulder stand, remember it's called shoulder stand, not neck stand. So you wanna feel the weight Distributed across your shoulders. Legs squeezing together. If you're in shoulder stand, and you'd like to move on to plow pose, halasana, go ahead and let your feet come over your head. If you're in legs up, you're welcome to stay right where you are. You're in plow pose. Soften your knees. They come by your forehead, your ear, coming to Karna Padasana. And go ahead and start to straighten your legs. Hands return to your low back if they've left. And lift your legs back up high to the sky. And no matter which inversion you're in, with control, slowly begin to roll back. Feeling the vertebrae touch the mat. Legs are going to lengthen all the way out as you slowly lengthen down. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze and a rock. Take any other final last shapes that you feel you need. Maybe it's a twist or a second back bend. If you don't know what you need or know what to do, you're welcome to follow me along as well. Coming to a spinal twist on the right.
Inhale, knees back through center. Find your twist on the left. Inhale, knees back through center. And start to let your legs find length. Arms open away from your body. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale everything out. Start to bring your awareness back. 
welcoming small movements. Feeling the breath. As you're ready, bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself a great big and well-deserved hug. Gently roll to one side. Just pause. Gently press yourself up to seated. Let your hands find their way to your beautiful hearts. Close your eyes for a moment and just acknowledge, find some gratitude for what you just did. The body and breath that you have. We've been this crazy, chaotic 2020 that we're in. Finding those moments of gratitude is still possible. And I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. The light in me bows the light inside of you. Have a great rest of your day. Great practice, Whitney. Bye.